So my founding partner, Jack Warner, and I, we were uh, walk-ons on the LSU basketball team and figured out pretty early on in our career that we probably weren't going to play in the NBA making money playing basketball. Uh, my junior year, I played seven minutes. So if you guys didn't know anything about per, that. Per game? No, or? per season. Okay. Uh, that's what I said. For, you, for anybody that knows anything about basketball, that's not a whole hell of a lot. And uh, so I, I figured, you know, I better explore some other options here. And um, look, I, it, it was it was an idea. We were on a plane ride on the way back from the University of Tennessee in Knoxville in 1999. We had got beat by uh, about 35 points that night. And uh, those little BevNaps we have on the plane started doodling on it. We said, man, we ought to, we ought to open up a restaurant. You know, 19, 20 year old kids, it was just an idea. I mean, that's not every 19 and 20 year old kid is thinking that far. I'm sure they are, but I mean, look, it was it was the napkin right there, right? And, uh, so we, we, we came back and we were in an entrepreneurship class at LSU with Dr. Robert Justice and did it as a school project. It was a business plan project. Okay. And we did that and uh, got a C on the project. And, uh, you know, Dr. Justice told us it wasn't necessarily the idea. We just needed some help with the business plan. And so okay. uh, that walk on mentality kicked in at an early age. And we said, you know what, Let, let's keep trying at this. Let's, let's not give up. Let's let's try to improve on this. And so uh, we did. And we, we just kept working on our business plan. And, um, you know, it, it, what they don't teach you in school is uh, what happens when you get turned down by the banks. Right. Um, right. You know, I know we got a great sponsor, Currency Bank here, who actually we do a lot of business with now. But um you know, I, look, as far as we knew at the time, you, you put a good business plan together, you go buy a cheap suit, you walk into these offices and you say, hey, here's our business plan. We need a loan. You get money, right? No, that's not the way it works. <laughs> it's not uh, that easy, Brandon? No, it's not that easy at all. And so we got turned down by the first six banks. Uh, okay. And all of them were, yeah, we love your idea, but no. And this is this is in 2001, uh, 2002, not long after 9-11. Okay. And so for anybody that remembers, they were really trying to get the economy stimulated again. You would they think were, it'd be ripe. Yeah. Yeah. They it's basically if you had a pulse and you could sign your name, you can get a loan. Well, not us two knuckleheads. And so what does a walk on do? You go to number seven. And um, Mr. Mike Anderson here in Baton Rouge, not the restaurant tour, the banker. Okay. Um, and he partnered with Mr. Andre Fruge. Uh, out of Louisiana Capital at the time, and uh, SBA. And Mr. Andre came in and said, look, if you guys are willing to bust your tail, we'll back you. And we said, what does that mean, sir? And he said, look, if you're willing to bust your tail, we will give you this loan, uh, but it also means you got a lot of debt at an early age. Make sure you pay your note. 